morning, this one food trend that has gone to the dogs, a food truck with treats just for them. Here to tell us all about it is Chrissy Trompadoc, Director of Communications of Milo's Kitchen, and she's brought some four-legged friends along with her. Chrissy, this is an incredible setup. <laughs> food trucks are all the rage. They have taken they over this country, but one for the dogs? One for the dogs. Milo's Kitchen believes that dogs are members of the family, so we were like, dogs have to have a food truck as well, so we, here we are with this food How truck. How do you get these dogs to be so perfect here in the food truck? This is Turbo and Bello. They are our honorary tour managers. They've been on, they've been to all 16 cities on the tour, and they're always ready to greet everyone and enjoy some treats. All right, so this food truck is out around New York City today. Yes, it's at Pier 26 later on this morning until about 3 o'clock. Okay, and people can come around for free doggy treats. People can come for free doggy treats, and we're sampling all of our products. It's great. Okay, um, let's check this out because this is also something that seems a little bit crazy, <laughs> but dog owners are crazy. Let's just be honest. I've well, got in, in the best dog, way, in a really good way. way. Yep. And th so, what's the deal? You this is our doggy selfie station. This is where you can get a picture with your pet family, um, and come on out. They'll print out a picture for you and email it to you. You can then Facebook and tweet about it. And then we have our lap dog lounge where we have toys and a place to hang out and relax. Oh wait, that's this right over here. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Is there? Is this like a sign that we just have? Be too rich in this country that now we have to come up with all of these things now just for our pets. You know, I think people just really form a bond with their pets and they want to treat them. Everyone gets so excited when they can bring their dogs and just have a good time and treat them and give them a special moment. So tell me what Milo's Kitchen is. Milo's Kitchen is a pet treat brand, and uh, we believe that dogs are members of the family, just like your children, for example. And so we develop these treats that are made in the USA, beef and chicken as the first ingredient. Um, our consumers told us they don't want any artificial colors or flavors, and so that's and what we developed. And these treats, they look like you could serve them on a cocktail party. Um, I smelled them. I wanted to eat one a <laughs> couple minutes ago, to be honest with you. All right, this is great. Here in New York City, all day long, Milo's Kitchen in the food truck, in the food booth, the photo booth. That's right. Pretty awesome. Chrissy, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, guess what? You've got a nice day of weather here in New York City for it. Let's take a look at the weather map. So I'll show you what's going on. Not the case out across parts of the southwest. We do have Hurricane Norbert. Tucker thinks that that's a very funny name, Hurricane Norbert, off the coast of uh, Baja, California. But it's going to bring some pretty significant rain over the next few days across parts of the Great Basin into Southern California and throughout much of Arizona, and along with that, the threat for flooding. Now, we've had a lot of rain there uh, across this monsoon season in the southwest, uh, and we're going to get some additional rain. Your forecast across the northeast today. Chrissy, this is what you're looking at. A beautiful day. The rain moved through yesterday. The heat and humidity, it's gone behind it. We just have beautiful temperatures and much dry drier air mass, so it's not going to be humid at all. Down to the south, we're going to have some rain across parts of Texas. Some of that tropical moisture, it's still hot and sticky, so we'll see some of those thunderstorms firing throughout the afternoon. And into the northern plains, just tons of sunshine and a beautiful day. Enjoy that 80 you're going to get to today in Fargo, because uh, by Tuesday and Wednesday, you're only going to get into the low 50s. All right, this is awesome. These dogs are spectacular. Guys, They're what do you think? Time. Anna, I know your dog needs to go out today and get to the food truck. <laughs> Did you try any food, Rick? Uh, I came very close. Yeah, Still. if you can't test it, Rick, I don't trust it. <laughs>